Today we welcome Italian artist and good friend of mine, Al Giu, onto the channel. Al Giu is a project born from Luca's love for the more heavy, dramatic side of electronic music, influenced by his exploration of rock music and a variety of instruments growing up. In 2021, Al Giu released his first works into the world on the renowned label Color Eyes, and since has become a staple among their ranks, with 15 plus EPs, remixes and singles released and counting. Today we get to see his process for building a new track idea and learn the secrets behind his signature sound. Over to Luca. Hey guys, it's LG here. Probably Jules already talked uh, about me before. So yeah, today we'll try to to make a track from uh, from scratch. And um, yeah, let's dive into the project. I will probably not talk that much, uh, to be honest, because I really need to focus on on what I'm doing. Just. A uh, few words about my my project, my empty project. I have a pre-master where I send all my bass. Um, I have a bus for kick, bass, harp and, and melodies in general, hi-hat, perks, uh, pad, eventually vocals and effects. And here's some empty MIDI track. Uh, here's a diva patch, uh, a serum one. A repro five, but yeah, I think I will probably start with uh, some drones to look from for uh, some inspiration. Sets Jules already sent me. have a bit of latency so bear with me okay 
know. Let's find some drums. Let's start to build this track. All right, I think I will go looking for a kick here. Let's try this one. Let's see how it goes. We can always edge it later. See all latency I have. How much latency I have. Okay, let's start to build, put some, some compression, some side chain to the kick. Seems that this base is not the one.
right? This one seems the one. We can already do some some compression on it to manage all the levels and saturation and distortion. now a solid start for, for the track. I usually start with a drone that helps me find a base. Then I start basically build the track around the base and some kind of atmosphere. So yeah, let's going. Keep going. I always try to keep my tracks organized from the start. Just to don't things get things too messed up in the making. All right. Okay, let's start to have some cool drums. something to work with like a vocal pull me closer I just wanna f we ended up in C minor is this real your love your love don't wanna lose myself Never gonna give you up 
Show me love it. Let's see if Shaper Box can help me with this. So we have to find a solid hook right now. Let's see if we can find something from Diva.
batteries from the mouse has just stopped working. All right, hopefully now it's working. Yes, should work right now. Perfect, yeah. I usually don't work like on MIDI on piano roll, but as I have plenty of latency, uh, that's the only way to make it work. So yeah, um, let's move forward. Let's look for
some more drums, some more momentum from here.
Let's try to make a lead, main lead, or make this track stand out a bit. I think that we are almost done with the with the elements, the main elements of the track. I'm sorry, I'm not speaking that much. Um, but when I'm making music, I'm really like in my words, so it's always complicated for me to speak in English, and and it's more complicated for me to speak in English while I'm making music. So it's bear with me <laughs> about this. Say it's over. 
I won't go. It's tearing me apart. Cause I can't get enough. It's tearing This is the one who needs to fix tone of it, but it's tearing me apart. Let's see if it works. It's tearing me apart. 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 I can't get enough. It's tearing me apart. Cause I. All right, we found it. Now we need to place it somewhere. I'm really like I'm not focusing that much on making things already good. I'm trying to build the song as fast as possible. And then we can go back and fix all the stuff. You know, I need more drums. I need more elements, like uh, probably some more atmos, um, some pads. But yeah, let's try to you know to, to move quickly. Move quick. Sorry. <laughs> This latency is really hard to manage, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why this happened. something cool with this voice try to break it like in some way make it um like not more a voice but it's tearing me apart sorry it was way too loud
Try some bomb instead.
checking the the bases in mono. Okay, yeah, kind of. I always check, you know, because on, on some system, on big sound system, uh, the bass really need to be in mono in the lower part of it, in the sub area. And so we can do something similar instead. Let's make some. Let's add some reverb to the bass just in the upper area. We can do something similar. Side chain also on the reverb. To make it sound. Give it some rhythm. Alright. And also this already has river we can also have oh no let's keep it simple for now okay we can do some chorus as well Actually losing it in more. Okay, it's fine. Always check your check your base in model guys. It's really important because as soon as you will play into a club or, or similar venue, you know, you're really losing it. So it's really important to, to have you know the fundamental part of the base in mono. All right, let's move forward. I want a ride actually. Let's find a ride here. This is way too loud. Maybe not here, but here. Let's use this one. Obviously it's not downloaded. Who knows why? Why are you doing this to me now?
tearing me apart. Why it's not working? I'm really curious. Okay. This latency is really, really, really bad. Cause I could be the one
record some more effects out of this lead just a second All right, here I am. Let's try to destroy this sample here. And see if we can find if we can find something cool out of it. Yes. We can reverse it. This is what I, I really use this kind of trick right here to you know to make my own effects instead of using. I mean, right now I'm trying to really um, make the track together, so I'm using like a basic uh, sweep sweep up effects like but lately i'm trying to really build my song around the effects uh, around yeah and i'm making um, my own effects out of the elements that i already have in the track so let's see So try the Valhalla delay on this.
try to save some CPU because I think we will need it. Cause I could be the one who's tearing me apart. Cause I can't get enough. It's tearing me apart. that I did because of the latency because I, I usually play with my keyboard but you know I have like uh, two seconds of latency so I, I can't use it and this makes all, every everything more complicated but yeah we will figure it out all right I think we have a track I think we have a track let's move forward into the breakdown Let's find some cool, maybe. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, we can try some inputs. Not input, maybe we need... Kinda, kinda. Try to make something out of this vocal to make it a bit more more mine. Let's see, okay, everything is working. You know, I needed to check it, <laughs> and yes. It's tearing me apart. 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 Cause I can't get enough. It's tearing me apart. It's glitching a bit, but I like it. Cause I could be the one. Let's make some room for these vocals. Okay, let's start start to mix something.
I want to use track spacer on the vocal on 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 the lead. Say so chain the vocals because I want to make some space.
I want to, to change, to maybe change the, the notes that the, the bass is playing right here in the breakdown. That's something that you usually do. I don't know if this one is the case because I want to, you know, to make a big break, a big moment, like a big moment of tension right here, and then release it, release it all in the, the second drop, in the main drop. So it's need to figure out. Thank you. 
trying to figure out how to do here. It's tearing me apart Cause I can't get enough Yeah.
I think we have a breakdown. I think that yeah, my Mac is kind of exploding right now. So hopefully we can make it until the end. I'm really liking how the track is going on. I, I, I'm really having some troubles on uh, without using my keyboards on, on figuring stuff and with two seconds of latency. <laughs> so bear with me, guys. We will get this song to an end. I really, uh, right now, what I want to do is to you know to make the track explode completely right here, like into the into the second drop, like to really make it proggy because I I I do think that this track has some nice proggy vibes. So let's try to see what happens. Thank you. 
think I want something to layer this lead right here. Let's do something that I didn't before. Just to keep things safe for now. All right, let's try some destruction. So I need to check also how much the kick is long, but I don't want to mess it up with the rest of the low end. Yes, it's fine, perfect. I never want my kick longest longer than sixteenths, what well, two sixteenths? Which is an octave, I think. I don't know. I'm I'm terrible on music theories. Bear with me, guys. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I usually want, especially with this kind of sustained bass right here, I do want uh, my kick to be short because I I I only need the first part of the of the punch of the kick, you know, because the all the all the low end is made with the with the bass itself. So yeah. Let's make the build up.
make this longer. Let's keep this effects going on. I need to reorganize my stuff. Yes. Okay. Sorry guys. Just a moment. Okay. Okay. Let's see if there's something new. I want more tension. Uh, let's finish the track and then we can go more in details. Okay, so I need. I saw before some. Some of these, I think. Snare. I want to do a snare rolls. Snarrows, yes. Let's try this one. I think we can do like a couple of Yeah, let's try this. I also want a riser. Let's see if Jules has one. No. Nope. Right here. I see no sense. Puppet. Not here. Yes. All right, we can do our own riser. Similar. Let's try if it sounds good. Don't think, to be honest with
I need more to release more tension right here. there like I need I'm a perfectionist so this track is um I like it but I really need to work on it more to make it sound how it sound in my head but yeah let's think let's keep things uh fast I mean I what what I would love to have is a bigger bit build up. I want more tension right here because right here is you know is the momentum of the <laughs> Let's keep things smart and fast. I know that it sounds weird and probably shitty alone, but in the context, it sounds kind of cool. Well, we can make them better. Let's do some strings, some channel.
I didn't use serum. I think it's time to use serum as well. Okay. Right. Let's use this one. Let's see what's offered.
I'm looking for a nine on hind hat. I want a longer hat right here. Let's try this. This one maybe can help us. Oh, another the only one that's not downloaded, thankfully. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's move forward. to come back to the
So guys, I think we are almost done. I do. I don't really like this. Directly, directly into the second row. Okay. Needles so of these two going here. Let's make this you have to make tension tension. <laughs> Okay guys, I think we are almost there. Let's do some mix. And now to make it some more natural. I think it's already sounding nice. Let's do some more touches.
Okay. I want this. I want this. Double luck. The looks, I think, yeah. Just on zero point five percent. Sorry guys, was really out.
All right, guys. I think that we are almost there. I I told it like a hundred times, probably, but.
guys I think the track is it's done like I will probably do some more stuff uh, but as I said before I really have some big troubles uh, and problems uh, with latency uh, so everything uh, every MIDI stuff that I'm making tonight is really really difficult because it comes like uh, two seconds later than I press the, the, the button so it's like it's <laughs> It's horrible. Let's do. I think that it's time to do uh, a quick master because I think that we are we are really there. Let's see. Yeah, I think that we can do some more mixed stuff like some leveling. Um, like over here. Let's see. Also need this one going to my bus vocal just for a bit of glue compression. Perfect. I, I in this project guys I, I I didn't overthink stuff because I, I I see my my Mac is going really is pushing through the limit uh, yeah so it's it can crash uh, in every moment so I I really keep this project kept this project as simple as possible because yeah I just need to save CPU um but yeah i think we can do a quick master right now hopefully it doesn't explode hopefully let's do this 
which I copied from James Hype. Uh, a preset in these. Let's keep it at fifty percent for now in Saturn two. <laughs> really fun to use because it really, as you can hear, it really makes things, yeah, it makes things come to life, um, at least for home, homemade masters, because I, I don't think that professional use this kind of master chain, but for now it's... Sounds really good. The mix sounds really good. Um, and also, it's the first time of my life doing a track like in just one shot. So, <laughs> oh, it's going on. It's two hour and a half. So it's the first time for me doing a, you know, doing a track uh, in only one session. It's I will probably work um, a bit more on it, like uh, to, to make a couple of things different, differently. But as I said, I'm, I'm, I have a problem with latency, so it's um, it's really a pain. But yeah, I think that the track is done. Let's do a final breakthrough, a final playthrough. Sorry. And yes, let's go. Cause I could be the Let's try one more, one more stuff. Let's see how it sounds.
Okay. I think I finished. <laughs> I just finished. Um, I really like the track. As I said, um, I should probably work a bit more on it, like to be to build the, the tension a bit more on the breakdown and release it uh, afterwards in the, the second drop. But I'm really happy with the result. And first time for me ever uh, doing a track on only one session was we're recording. Yeah, it's almost three hours. Um, yeah, hopefully you will like it. And hopefully um, it, it will be um, good for you to learn something from me, hopefully. If you need um, something that I didn't uh, tell uh, before in, inside the, the video, uh, just um, drop the question down below in the video and I will, I will answer, you, uh, answer you. So yeah, thanks Jules, thanks Basic Ways for the, um, for the opportunity. Um, also, uh, all the sounds that I use in this project are um, Basic Ways sounds. In, I think the only sound that I used was my LGU main bass uh, sound, but every other sample that I use here uh, are Basic Ways um, samples. So they are really good. They are really good. I really recommend you. To, to buy them because they sound really good. Uh, the drums are really amazing. I didn't, basically, I didn't work that much on, on them. Uh, they already sound great. So yeah, hopefully it was uh, useful for you guys. Um, hope to see you soon. And thanks again, Basic Waves, uh, Basic Waves for the invitation. And yeah, see you soon.